hello for row three now i'm going to chain two and turn then follow the the first row pattern which is do a half double crochet in the first stitch then two half double crochet in the second You just follow the same pattern to the last chain of the one and two and this two here one here and two in this chain. One the next one and two in this chain one in the next one and two here one in the next chain just follow that pattern as you're making it as you're crocheting into the into the stitch to discover that it's holding up that's exactly what I it should look like it should look like that oops yeah one and the next one and two here One here and two here. One in this one and two here. One in the next one and two here. One in the next chain and two here one here and two here one yes, oops. one here and two in the next one two half double crochet one half double crochet and two sorry two half double crochet here one in this sorry one here and two here one in the next one and two in the next one just continue like that one and two one and two like that it's two here One here. As you can see, it's holding back. And two here. <coughs> Sorry. One here. And two here. One here. And two here. One and two one and two here two.
Um, approaching the last, the end of my my work here. One and two, then one. Yeah, I'm not sure. Now I've come to the end of my row three. As you can see, it's folding, folding up, folding up, folding up. This is how it should look like. It should look like this. Something like this, something like this, this is what you should get. If you don't get something like this, then there's a problem. Okay, you don't follow the pattern. You should get something like that. For my row 4, going to chain 2 and turn. Turn and do half double crochet all through, all through chain four and f all through row four and five. Excuse me. Just single, not increases on this on row four and five. Just one single crochet, one half double crochet. Sorry, all through, one half double crochet all through row four and five. Just one half double crochet or two, no increases on four and five rows. Just make sure you're doing the right thing. Follow the pattern, or oh, that is the end. Um, I'll try and write down the pattern for you. So it will be a lot easier for you to follow while watching the videos. I'll write the pattern for you. Put them on my side. Oh, my face. Don't skip the one. Eh? Make sure your work is neat. You can make this as gifts. You can give to someone. Just do something. Instead of buying a gift to give people, you can crochet or knit something and give to people instead of buying with money. 
But anyways, you can spend time making them. At least, you start something. Do something for yourself. Don't waste time around. Learn how to do it. Do it yourself. That's the best time. So. Don't forget, row 4, row 4 and 5, row 2, row 4 and 5 is half double crochet or through just a single half double crochet, no increases on 2, 4 and 5 rows. I've come to the end of my row 4 and this is it. This is my the end of my row 4. I'm going to chain 2 and turn and do the same pattern. Row 4 and 5 is the same thing. Just do a single half double crochet or true, no increases. When you get to the last one, I'll tell you what to do. See you at the end of your five. 